Hello and welcome to Brain Chow. In this video, we will be comparing India's ISRO with European Space Agency. This is going to be an uphill battle for ISRO because European Space Agency is slightly different. Most space agencies are controlled by one country or a private organization. But ESA has 22 member nations including countries such as Germany, UK and France. So this comparison is not really a one on one fight. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Number 1. Payload Capacity ISRO can carry payloads up to 10,000 kg to low earth orbit on its GSLV Mark III. ESA proves to be superior here as its launch vehicle can carry payloads weighing as much as 21,000 kg. First point goes to ESA. Number 2. Cost Effectiveness For launching small satellites, India has a big advantage over its peers. ISRO's PSLV costs 15 to 30 million per launch, which is much lower than its competitor. India's missions to Moon and Mars also managed to amaze people with their frugal budget. We have to give this point to India. The score is now tied at 1-1. Number 3. Budget as I said at the beginning of the video, ESA has lots of members. These member countries along with European Union contribute certain amounts to form the total budget. For 2018, ESA has a budget of $6.9 billion which is much higher than ISRO's $1.7 billion. European Space Agency wins this point comfortably. Number 4. Success Rate ESA has the second best success rate when it comes to space launches just after Russia. 93.43% of its launches have been successful compared to 81.15% of Indian launches. This point goes to ESA too. Number 5. Achievements European Space Agency was successful in putting a satellite in Moon's orbit in 2003. Five years later, ISRO achieved the same with its Chandrayaan mission. ESA does not have any proposed lunar missions in the near future. On the other hand, India is going to soft land a rover on the Moon later this year with its Chandrayaan 2 mission. Now let's talk about Mars. ESA first reached Mars in 2003 with its Mars Express mission. The orbiter was successful but the lander failed to fully deploy itself after landing on the surface. In 2016, ESA and Russia's Roscosmos jointly conducted another Mars mission. Again the orbiter side of the mission was successful but the lander crashed. On the other hand, India has attempted only one Mars mission and it was successful. India's next Mars mission is scheduled four years from now. In 2014, ESA successfully landed a spacecraft on a comet nucleus, which had never been done before. Other than that, the space agency has also carried out successful mission to Venus India holds the world record for most satellite launches at once, 104. I'm going to give one point each to both space agencies because both have their own set of achievements. Final score is ISRO 2, ESA 4. European Space Agency with its high budget and large number of member nations is at least a few years ahead of ISRO at this point. But who knows, India might catch up with them in the future. 
consider pressing the subscribe button on the screen if you want to watch more such space related videos thanks for watching drain chart